Okay, in this video, I'll be showing you how to make green sand. And what you'll need is bentonite clay, which you can get from cat litter. And you also need play sand. So the first step is to sift your play sand to get it into a finer mixture. So I'll go do that. Okay, so all my sand is sifted, as you can see there. And the next step is to blend your cat litter. And the reason why you need to do that is because it comes in these larger particles and we need it a lot smaller than this. So next step, or step two, is to blend your cat litter. Okay, here's all my blended clay, and from here you need to make a mixture that's 15% clay and 85% sand. Alright, here's the clay. Okay, now I need 850 grams of sand. All right, so we got 850 grams of sand and 150 grams of clay. Okay, so the next step is to gradually add water to the mixture and make sure you mix it as you go. And then from there, you're gonna keep doing that until the green sand can clump up when you squeeze it and then snap cleanly down the middle, which I'll show you. Okay, so once you're done adding water to your green sand and you're ready to test it, what you're going to do is to grab some of it and then squeeze it and it should form into a clump just like that. And when you grab both ends, it should break cleanly down the center. If your green sand is like that, then you're good to go. If not, I would try varying the amount of water or clay. And it all depends on the type of clay that you bought and type of sand that you bought and how fine they are. All right, now that you know how to make green sand, there's a lot of possibilities. For example, what I'm doing is I'm taking this bucket here and I'm gonna fill up the whole thing with green sand and put this foam object here. And then I'm gonna pack all the green sand around it. And what this is called is the lost foam method. And what happens is the molten metal flows down and takes the place of the foam. And the green sand serves to support the edges and make sure none of the metal like flows out and loses shape. And specifically the type of foam that I'm using is extruded polystyrene foam which you can get at the hardware store and you can cut it with a utility knife like this so don't miss next video i'll be making a lot more green sand packing it in and trying to cast my dagger and that's it for this one bye